Hello there, Paul Tranny here, and I'm so excited to show you this feature. It can get you out of a jam. It's version history in Photoshop. Uh, we've all been there, by the way. We might be working on a file, and uh, you'll do a destructive edit. So I'm just removing these birds, by the way, way just kind of taking them out. Right, we can see just using the healing brush, removing them like so. It's a destructive edit. That's what I just did. So I could save this file. I closed it. Oh no, like what if you wanted to bring those birds back? Did you lose them forever, right? Typically you'd save maybe a background like a PSD, a, a separate one, which is why you'll have promo one, two, three, four, five, final, 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 I promise this time. But since it's a cloud document, save as cloud document, guess what? We have version history window, version history, there it is, right? Your get out of jail free card, if you will. Uh, we can see right in here from today. Hey, we want to roll back to a previous version with birds. There they are, just like so. Not only that, you can see all these different edits that I've made back in November, October, September, up to over a month ago. Uh, it will save them as you, you save them in, in those increments as you save a file. But not only that, you could always come in here, say for instance, this is the version that I might want to bookmark. Hey, you can bookmark it because what if I want to bring back or remove the birds? This is the no birds version just in case the client changes their mind. But again, you have all of those marked versions right in here. We could see a color splash version, uh, one that's a bright version, a dark version, all saved just in case uh, I need them. But what I want to do is just roll back to a previous version. This one, in fact, that's what we'll do. We will go ahead and revert to this version uh, and bring back uh, those birds or whatever you messed with. It's really going to save you a lot of time. You don't have to worry about redoing things. Just save it as a cloud document and try it out for yourself.